Hello everybody, it's Friday. Work week's over, weekend starts tomorrow, so why don't you go home, kick off your shoes, sit down on the couch, and open up a nice, cool can of knowledge. This is T Forbes TV. A cleaning woman in Dormund, Germany, I hope I'm saying this right, was a little overzealous about her job. She was making her rounds when she saw what looked like a dried rain puddle underneath one of the exhibits. Doing what cleaners do best, she cleaned it up and was on her merry way. Unfortunately, that particular dried rain puddle was a very important part of a $1.1 million art piece called When It Starts Dripping From The Ceiling. Oops. But the silver lining is, I now have an excuse if I'm ever told to clean something. I can just say, I don't have a million dollars to risk. In other news, I'm jealous of toddlers. MSNBC has compiled a list of the top 10 things to help parents raise nerds. Congratulations, John and Hank Green. I say you put this in a win for the nerd fighters. But seriously, there are things on this list I'm asking for for Christmas. There's a Star Trek feeder system, also known as a spoon that looks like the Enterprise, taking solid food where it's never gone before. They also have Walking Dead lunchboxes, Portal 2 plush turrets, and HTML for babies. Because it's never too early to teach your kids about good web design. Now I know some of you might think you've had a couple shitty days, but Babatundi Umundu, a Nigerian comedian, is in a whole nother league. He was released from prison today after having been detained for the last 24 days. He was accused of ingesting drugs to smuggle across Europe, but was released after, and I quote, 25 closely monitored bowel movements that produced nothing suspicious. Come to think of it, I don't know who had it worse, him or the guy who had to do the close monitoring. Moving on, does anybody remember this guy? In Kevin Smith's 1999 film Dogma, the church realizes they've been a little dreary and depressing, so they decide to bring in Buddy Christ to liven things up. While I haven't seen Buddy himself, the church seems to have been taking a page out of Kevin Smith's book. Cardinal Gioffranco Revisi, this is not my day for name, said, Preaching in churches was so dull and vapid, it had become meaningless. He followed that up with a suggestion to priests to not be afraid of letting the scandal contained in the Bible erupt. Who knows, this change might even motivate me to take in a sermon or two. No. Leaving behind old men erupting in scandal, 83-year-old Ben Clifford Dawson of Iowa was charged today with offering sexual favors as repayment on a loan. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm gonna finish off today with a happy story. Everybody's been quite excited that the human population was soon to surpass seven billion. Unfortunately, because of just how many babies are born, it's impossible to determine which baby is actually the seven billionth. Or so I thought. Vladimir Putin has officially announced that that magic child is Pio, Pio, to, Pio, Pio the child of Marina Nikolaev. How did you manage to do it on the seven billionth mark, yeah? How did she manage? Putin, Putin, Putin. It's not like there was some doctor there with a stopwatch saying, now, despite his insistence that this is officially the seven billionth child, there have been claims made all over the world, including in another official announcement in Russia's Far East. Whoever really has the honor of being the world's seven billionth child, congratulations. That's everything for today, so I'll see you all next time.